All right. Welcome. So, here's the story of today. Had a great massage. <laughs> Did not plan on uh, necessarily coming to the clinic and filming any yoga. That's kind of why I'm not in my yoga gear, but I think that's fine because yoga can be done anywhere and any clothes, doesn't matter. And I have my you know, clothes today to go get a massage and my hat on so no one sees my hair. And after the conversation with my, my massage therapist, I thought, you know what? Everyone needs a little bit of yoga. And where I teach in Madison, the studio is going to be closed for a couple of weeks. So we're not going to be able to get together. And this is the best way to do it. So um, I think I'll be able to continue to film some of our classes very similar to what we, we do on Thursdays and on Sundays. Um, but here's just kind of a, a recentering, a deep breathing exercise, a little bit of movement, some stretching, just so we can move. I ran into a couple people today and they said they went to a walk rather than going to their gym. They're watching a lot of TV. They just kind of feel stir crazy. And it's not that we're enclosed and stuck. I think more so it's that we don't have our normal routines and we just kind of feel off. Um, and another thing I'm feeling, which I'm sure a lot of you are feeling as well, is all of the energy around us and kind of seeping in a little bit to us. And we have to release that because it's not our energy. You know, just because everyone else is doing one thing doesn't mean, mean we need to go do it. But we kind of get caught up in this mentality. This is selling out. This is happening. Da, 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 da. It's like, oh, just got to breathe. <laughs> just got to step back and breathe. So um, if you're ready for some yoga, come down onto your mat. All right, we'll move a little bit. And um, honestly, I'm really happy to kind of share this with you because this is how I do yoga almost all the time. Got my socks on, <laughs> I put my mat wherever I, I need to in my, my place and I just move and breathe, all right? So let's start seated for a moment. So come to a comfortable seat. Uh, legs can be long, legs can be crossed, doesn't matter. Close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths. All of that energy of what's happening around you, maybe what you're feeling inside, just let it go. Okay, feel your inhale, feel your exhale. as always, as you breathe, soften as you inhale. So if there's tension through your shoulders or your jaw, actively relax. Let the breath come in effortlessly. okay for you. Keep your eyes closed. Bring your right hand down to the mat. Draw the left arm up and then over. Relax your neck. Allow the, the left hip to press down into the mat and be anchored. And if you need something more, take your ribs, lift them up towards the sky, get into that space right in between the rib cage. Inhaling, come back to center. But exhale out, we'll just switch. Left arm down, right arm up and over. those of you watching, I'm doing what should be mirroring you. So I'm actually using my opposite arms. So don't worry about that. Because whatever you hear do, okay, if I look different, the video is do what you hear. Okay. Breathing in and breathing out. Soften your hips, your thighs. On your next inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release that out. 
So if your eyes are closed, gently blink them open and extend your arm straight out in front of you, shoulder height, palms are gonna face one another. We're gonna take this into eagle arms. So you know where you're going, right arm over the left and go right into it, okay? If, if you're wondering what is happening, your right arm is gonna draw over the left and you're either gonna grab opposite shoulders as best you can or back of your hands are gonna to come together or you're going to interlock, okay? So it does not matter where you are. I'll take it from here to start with. If you can, lift your elbows up to the height of the shoulders, okay, but soften the shoulder blades down the back. Set up nice and tall, but don't tense anything. Just relax. We're gonna take our cat cow just like this to get into that space um, right behind the heart and between the shoulder blades. So as you inhale, you're gonna feel constricted. Just breathe in fully. Draw your elbows towards the sky, open through the ribs, inhale in, and then as you exhale, draw your elbows down, allow your chin to draw towards your chest. Inhaling, opening up, lifting up. Exhale, round it in, drop gently the chin to the chest. Inhaling, open, breathe in as long and as full as you can. Exhale, release it out. Drop the chin to the chest. One last time. Inhale, breathe all the way in to the low belly, past the base of the lung. Open, open, open. Exhale, let it go. Release it out. Good. Release your arms down. You might want to roll your wrists, roll your arms, take some shoulder shrugs. Just releasing that. But continue to notice the breath. How does it feel? How does it sound? Okay, when you're ready, let's come right over to hands and knees. Okay. Set it up so that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Start by taking your tailbone and lift it up towards the sky. Gaze is straight down. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. And then from there, if there's any space left, take your sternum, lengthen it forward. Okay, breathe. So maybe if it's okay in your neck, your gaze could draw forward, but you don't want any crunching, all right? For me today, it feels best just to look down. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. One more full breath. As you exhale, move from your tailbone, draw it underneath, round your spine, relax your head and neck, pause, take a few breaths. So here, the space between the shoulder blades, lift it up towards the sky, that's what you wanna feel. Keep breathing fully. Inhaling, let's move. Arch it up, tailbone lifts. Then the sternum draws forward, shoulder blades draw down your back, open. Exhale, let it go. Relax your head and neck. Good, release this out. Inhaling, opening up. Exhale, let it go. Relax your head and neck. Last full round. Inhaling. Let your breath move you. Exhale. Good. Come back to center. When you're ready, extend your right leg long behind you. Okay. And I'm going to look because I yeah, honestly don't have, know how much space I have. Roll your right hip down. Okay, look for length. If this is too much, ball of that foot comes down. You can stretch it out this way. Draw the low belly up and in. Press the mat away. And when you're ready, cross the right foot over the left. The ball of the right foot comes down. So this may be enough. Shoulder blades slide down your back. You're looking for a little bit of cobra in your upper back. Find that first. And if you still need more, like today, this is enough on my hip. It feels awesome. For you, if you need more, start to gaze over that left shoulder, looking for the right heel. Okay? If you don't need it, just gaze straight down. Breathe. Often what we do here is, We'll twist our shoulders to get that, and it feels good. Don't get me wrong. 
feels really good in the hip, but we just keep stretching the same place. That's why it feels so good because it gets tighter and tighter and we stretch it out even more. So try to keep your shoulders as level as possible. And then actively allow the right heel, try to draw it away from you. Try to touch the back of the room, the back of the mat, wherever you are. Last full breath. All right, as you inhale, move from your core, right leg comes back. As you exhale, you're gonna draw it all the way over to the right. I gotta bend my knee for a second. Okay. Extend your right foot straight out. So inner edge of that right foot intersects the left knee. You want your right toes to point forward towards the front of the mat and roll the outer edge of that right foot down as best you can. You're gonna to start to stretch your, your ankle. This may be enough, okay? This might feel good. If you need something more, let your hips draw back towards your heels. You will feel this stretch right through the inner thigh. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And if you still need more, you can come down to your forearms. Okay, that might feel really good. Or you could even walk your hands forward, almost like a puppy pose, and then stretch back. Okay, all different options for you if you need them. Take whatever feels best this morning or this afternoon and just keep breathing. Okay, moving from your center, you're going to step your right knee back underneath that right hip. Good. And then right foot steps forward. Oh, a little bit of core here. Great. So step your right foot forward so it's underneath the right knee. I always need to scoot my back knee back, so you do whatever feels best for you. You can stay low. Okay, I, I don't have my blocks with me right now, but my hands can touch. So if yours do, great. If you feel like you're rounding, come up to your finger pads or bring your hands to rest on something. Honestly, you could, you could use some water bottles if you got them, <laughs> whatever you need. We're just going to be here for a moment or two. Breathe in and breathe out. Notice what you feel. Soften where you can. And then remember, it's not about the pose. Okay? It's about the breath. Breathe into where you need it. Use the breath to heal you. As you exhale, let your hips draw back straight and long through that right leg. See where it takes you. If you keep the ball of that right foot down, you're going to stretch the top of the ankle. Okay, that might be what you need. If you lift the ball of the right foot up, you're going to get deeper through the Achilles and the calf. It doesn't matter. See what feels best right now. Relax your head and neck. And then even from here, take your tailbone. Imagine you're stretching it back towards the back of the mat. Okay, you're going to feel like you want to feel in down dog where you're taking your tailbone up and back. Yes, that's going to intensify the stretch. That's okay. Breathe. Okay, these are the muscles you actually really want to get into. Inhale, bend back into that right knee. Pause here, left arm down underneath that left shoulder. Bring your right hand to your right thigh just for a moment. Press your thigh in towards your ribs. You're going to wrap your right chest and shoulder open without moving the hips. Okay, so relax your glutes. A lot of us just want to tense, soften, and then find this stretch. So for us women, it's right through the bra line. Okay, men, it's going to be mid thoracic or mid to upper back. That's where you want to feel it. So relax your shoulders. That's where the twist is happening. A lot of core, your low belly is still drawing up and in to hold you here. Okay, this for me, when I start my twist, especially when I'm starting my practice and I press kind of into my thigh to open, it feels really good on my low back. If you want, if you need something more right arm up, always. If you need more than that, wrap your right arm behind your back, okay, looking for more opening across the pec, underneath the collarbones. Breathe, breathe in and breathe out. On your exhale, right arm down. Good, step your right foot back. Both arms down, inhale, arch it up, open up. This should feel really good. Exhale, round your spine, relax your head and neck, let it go. Coming back to neutral. 
extend your left leg long and then see how that feels. So I'm going to move forward a little bit here. God, roll out that ankle if you want. Have the ball of that foot down if you want. Just find a bit of a stretch. And then as you exhale, cross your left foot over your right. The ball of the left foot's going to come down. So this is really entertaining for me right now because I usually don't practice in this location um, or have my mat set up where it is. So I'm being really gentle not to <laughs> knock anything down. And you know what? That's yoga. So that's how I feel when I practice in my room. That's exactly how I feel when I practice in the living room. It's just there's stuff all around you. You know, that's life. So gently move through it as best you can breathing in and breathing out and that's exactly what this practice you know teaches us because what we do on our mat we want to take off right how we feel the mindset we get into the space of just being and creativity that's what we want to have off the mat and so when we are forced to practice it it kind of makes us then remember it in the real world as you inhale, left leg up and back. Good. Exhale, step it all the way over to the left. Okay. Ball of that, or I'm sorry, middle of the left foot, okay, is in line with the right knee. That's what you want to find. And then from here, stay here. Roll the outer edge of that left foot down. You can draw your hips back if you need more of a stretch. Any variation you want, you take, but just breathe. And if where we're starting is enough, gaze a straight down or close your eyes and just breathe into where you feel it. Relax your jaw. Those micro muscles around the eyes soften. Inhale effortlessly and exhale all the way out. So come on up if you, if you can down to your forearm. Use your core. You're going to step your left knee back in and then step your left foot forward. Yeah, a little bit of core work. All right, right knee comes back if needed. Stay low here. Find where you want to be. Left ankle's underneath the left knee. Both your hips are squaring forward. Breathe. Just breathe into what you feel. Try to find some length and then see what you can let go of are often where we store a lot. One more full breath. As you exhale, hips draw you back. Lengthen out the left leg. See where you're going to take it on this side. When you get there, soften. Okay. And if without having blocks, it's too hard. You can make fists and come up to your fist. Whatever you feel you need. Ball of the left foot's down or ball of that left foot is lifted. So find that first. Then when you do, depending on where you want to be, take your tailbone. Imagine it's lengthening towards the back of the mat. Yes, you're going to get a deeper stretch. Breathe. It's okay if it's intense. Use your breath to work through it. full breath. Beautiful work. Inhale, bend back into that left knee. All right, let's set it up for our twist. Right hand down underneath that shoulder. Your left hand is going to come to the left thigh. Hug or press your left thigh in towards the ribs. And then once you have that wrap, the left chest and shoulder open, find where you need to be. 
Find this without moving the hips. The right hip's gonna wanna roll underneath in order to get more space, but we're not really getting space, we're just um, counteracting. So lengthen the left shoulder up towards the sky and then maybe back. You wanna feel as if your ribs are expanding apart a little bit. Soften where you can. Even your glutes, the top of the glutes where it comes to the low back, if you're tensing there, relax. Okay, and if you want more, of course, left arm up, palm faces away from you, or wrap the left arm behind you, but make sure that the left knee doesn't roll out to the left. Keep hugging the left thigh in. It has a lot of low abdominal to hold yourself up here. And then breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Exhale, left arm down. Step your left foot back. Table, one last cat cow. Inhale, arch it up, open up. Exhale, round your spine, relax your head and neck, let it go. And then from here, I want you to melt down either into child's pose or I want you to come into down dog. So if you know where you're going, go for it. Okay, child's pose. Knees can be together or apart. That doesn't matter. You want your big toes to touch. Sink your hips down towards your heels as far as they're going to go. And then rest your forehead on something. Your hands, the mat. You know, this doesn't really work in a hat if you haven't tried it before, but <laughs> I just thought I'd point that out. Down dog. You know, if you're already there, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. And if you look back at your feet, you want to make sure that your feet are hip distance apart and your heels are hidden back behind your second toe. That's going to ensure that your hips are not twisting in or out. And then from there, root your hands down, take your tailbone up and back, soften through the shoulder blades, melt your heart towards your thighs. And as you open, as you continue to breathe, your legs are going to be able to straighten out. All right. If your heels are lifted, your knees are bent deeply, that's fine. Get the length through the spine first and foremost. And just breathe. You know, that's the beauty of practicing at home or just kind of doing our own thing is no one's watching. Okay. And typically in yoga, no one cares about anyone else if you haven't realized that. So um, where I practice, there are, or where I teach, I'm rather, there are mirrors, but we don't face the mirrors. So I often have, it's great for alignment, but I don't want people to kind of judge what they're doing or judge anyone else. And most often when we step on our mat, you know, when you have any yoga class, it's like, if you're on your mat, it's you, that's it. That's the beauty. But at home, you can really feel it. You know, you just let everything hang out. Just no care in the world. Don't have to try to even get better alignment. You just feel and breathe. Last full breath. All right, whenever you're done, you're going to walk or step all the way up to the top of the mat and release into a forward fold. We won't be here long because we don't have blocks to rest our hands on, but find where you need to be. You can bend your knees and rest your torso on your thighs, grab opposite elbows and just let everything hang. You can have your legs straight, maybe even resting your hands on your shins. Whatever feels best, just breathe in and breathe out. It feels good to sway side to side. Go for it. You do you. The whole point of any teacher leading class is to kind of guide the class, but if it doesn't feel good, if you don't like it, don't do it. And you know what I have to say is I love that there are so many people that I am blessed to teach that just kind of do their own thing. And they follow with us eventually or at times, but if they need something else, they do it. And I just, I absolutely love it. All right, release your clasp as you clasp your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head draws forward. Look for a long spine. Exhale, fold it. <sighs> Inhale, all the way up. Bend your knees if you need to. Reaching out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. <sighs> Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Let it go. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, chest out. Exhale, fold in. 
It's going to move through this a little bit. Inhale, rise up, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hinge and fold, let it go. Inhaling, halfway lift, find a long spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up. Breathe in what you need. Exhale, hands to heart. Last time like this. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Open up, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let it go. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up. Reach up, breathe in something good. Exhale, hands to heart. Fantastic. Let's take one full sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, chest out. Exhale, hands plant, step back. Okay, you're going to lower. Decide how you want to lower. Knees up or down, that doesn't matter. Once you get there, untuck your toes. Slide the shoulder blades down your back, hug your elbows in. Inhale, lift your heart. Come into Cobra. We'll do this a few times. Breathe. Okay, so a lot of times people are looking for height. Forget about it, right? Especially now with what's going on. Forget about what you're supposed to look like. Just breathe. Okay, all we want are full deep breath as we move our body. That's all we're looking for. And at the bottom of your exhale, release out or let that go. When you're ready, inhale, heart draws forward and up. You can stay in Cobra. You could press into Up Dog or any variation thereof. See what you need. There should be no tension on your spine. Heart is still drawing forward. Press the mat away. Breathe in and breathe out. Exhale, release it down. Last time. Last heart opener. Inhale, heart draws forward and up. You take it to wherever you want to take it. Breathe fully. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay as long as you want. Okay, as you exhale, you're going to press back through child pose and then down dog if you want down dog. Lengthen the spine. All of that out. This should feel really good. And then if and when you're ready, come right into down dog. If you're in down dog, slowly bring your knees down to the mat. If you're in child pose, slowly rise up and just come back to a comfortable seat. All right. Legs can be long, knees bent, whatever works. Close your eyes. Okay. Just let your spine be long. Let your heart be light. Notice the space across the chest, underneath the collarbones. And then just notice your breath. The inhale and the exhale. Probably a little bit easier to breathe. And for our last few breaths, we're just going to bring our awareness to something we are grateful for in this moment. Maybe it's our breath, maybe it's just being, maybe something happened in your day that you're grateful for. 
and inhale it into each and every cell and just let that energy resonate throughout. No matter what is happening around you, you always have your breath and it's always in the present moment. So if you feel flighty, if you feel things are happening, you just can't keep up, you know, you have this, we'll refer to it often as a monkey brain or just your thoughts are going, breathe. Connect with your breath. Notice how it feels. Notice how it sounds. And to that, I thank you for practicing with me, for relaxing with me. Have a beautiful rest of your day or night. Namaste. I know it's not fully a uh, whole yoga class or typical yoga class, but this is yoga, you know, yoga is real. We show up on our mat, who we are that day in that moment, what happened, what didn't happen. And we just flow and we breathe and we are, and that's the beauty. So after I had this, you know, great conversation with my massage therapist this morning, I was like, you know what? I think what I need to do is get on my mat. And if I'm going to get on my mat, I'm going to share it with whoever wants to enjoy it. All right. So if you have suggestions, let me know if there's anything you need, of course, reach out. Otherwise, I, uh, I'll see you soon. Hmm.